Hey everybody, we've all heard of Atlantis, but have you heard of Lemuria? Lemuria is the name of a fabled ancient civilization that sank thousands of years under the Pacific, which is very similar to the story of Atlantis. So today, I wanted to talk to you about my Lemurian Sea Crystal. Look at this, it has so much knowledge. All right, you ready? Let's go. What's up everybody? Welcome to the latest episode of the Ingram Experience. Today I'm going to be talking about a very special type of crystal, which is the Lemurian Seed Crystal. So I just got this book called The Book of Stones, and in this book it has information on every crystal out there that's been discovered so far. I mean, pretty much everything that's been discovered so far. So this was the first crystal that I was ever given as a gift. You know, I bought a couple crystals, I've been handed a few, but this is the one where it was really, you know, like it meant something when I got it. And that kind of sparked my interest in crystals, honestly. And this happened sometime last year. So I'd say for about the last like six months to a year, crystals have been really in my hemisphere. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> Each crystal has different metaphysical properties. You can check out my video about blue calcite, but today we're doing the Lemurian Seed Crystal. What is there to know about Lemurian Seed Crystal? First, we have to start with Lemuria. So the name given to these lovely specimens tells one much about their energies. So like I said before, Lemuria is a fabled ancient civilization that sank underneath the Pacific Ocean. And they say that it happened thousands of years ago because we don't know exactly when it happened, but I'm starting to believe that this is a real thing. The volcanoes of Hawaii and other Polynesian islands are said to be the tops of the Lemurian civilization. So Lemuria is remembered as a civilization with a different kind of consciousness. It was much more centered around the emotional and spiritual dimensions, more so than our mentally based modern world. Some would even say that Lemuria is the basis for stories about the Garden of Eden. Hmm, didn't think I was gonna say that, huh? So there was a catastrophe that was on both the inner and outer levels that befell the Lemurian people and their level of consciousness. And at that time, humanity fell from grace. So the Lemurian seed crystals are exactly what the name implies. They are coded and programmed with Lemurian consciousness vibrations consciousness vibrations and that's based off of the striations and the step ladder formations that are on the sides of lemurian seed crystals when one works with them in meditation self-healing practices or other modalities the crystals can infuse one with the pure emotional intuitive spiritual awareness of the lemurians with these stones there can be wonderful experiences of heart opening and the healing of the emotional body one may discover that one's true self has emerged at last and that the divine presence is an almost tangible substance especially when one is out in the world of nature. This is the gift of the Lemurian seeds, the return to the garden. Lemurian seed crystals emanate a decidedly yin or feminine energy. The Lemurian seeds can help one attain that balancing, nurturing, loving, spiritual, and sensuous consciousness that has been long lost by much of humanity. Lemurian seeds can benefit just about everyone. Most people need the heart opening and emotional spiritual healing they offer. And even if one doesn't need healing, healers can use these crystals to bring such experiences to their clients. So for the spiritual aspects of Lemurian Seed Crystals, they rapidly expand one's consciousness by allowing travel through the crown and the soul star chakras. Your soul star chakra is above your crown chakra. A lot of people think that there's only seven chakras. There's actually nine. These are teaching stones, meaning that they allow one to attune to one's highest guides and spirits and receive information from these beings. For the emotional, they aid one in feeling more connected with one's own soul level emanations. For the physical, Lemurian seed crystals are wonderful supporters of healing work and can be used as gateways for communion with healing guides. Like other quartz crystals, they tend to amplify the energy of other crystals that they're around. The affirmation for Lemurian seed crystals, I reconnect with my own soul and the divine feminine, and I call forth knowledge, wisdom, and power from the ancient realm of Lemuria. So that's all for today. Thank you for joining me on the latest episode of the Ingram Experience. Today we talked about the metaphysical properties of Lemurian seed crystals. This is a beautiful stone that really helps with healing and connecting with past lives or anything that's from the times of Lemuria. And these patterns that are on here, these step ladder formations and these little dots, it's like that's how you can tell if it's a real Lemurian seed crystal because real ones, it's like they don't have certain areas and the way that it shines, like they don't, it's just not there. And I'm not ever gonna be giving this one away. This one, this one's my, this one's my day one. And it's gonna stay my day one. So go out and get your own because like you, you get a lot of different, wonderful, loving, amazing energies from these. And like it said, it helps open up your heart chakra, which all of us need. So go on, and do some research, go on some websites, look up some crystals, and I will see y'all next week. Put in the comments if you have any crystals that you love or you like or that you want to get because we're all learning in this 
new crystal knowledge world. The more we share, the more we care, the more we're there. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all next week. Bye. Experience the eggs and experience. Welcome to my show. Welcome to my show. Welcome to my show. Welcome to my show. Welcome to my show.